Jews were still walking about freely, but they were already being registered. Old man Gordlin knocked on our door. He said that the Germans had ordered all Jews to pack their belongings for a journey. That very same evening, the Jews were led down the street into the military barracks. When we ran out of our gate, the first column had already passed our yard. At the head were the rabbis and doctors with their families and all of the Jewish intelligentsia. The elders were led, supported under their arms. The infirm were carried on stretchers, and the children simply walked with little bundles on their backs. Everyone walked very slowly. My children suffered greatly and cried upon seeing their best friend, Rusia Halperina. It is impossible to even imagine that the Germans would have killed seven and a half thousand souls from our city. But over the next few days, they got herded up, were shot, and their bodies were thrown into the very same trenches that we had dug for the city's safety before the influx of the Germans. A sinister, inhuman crime had occurred in history.